Well, for more than a year, News Channel 5's Building Better Neighborhoods initiative has tried to take an active role in helping to solve the problems brought on by a growing number of vacant and condemned homes. Yeah, one of the key questions with any vacant home is, should it be renovated or should it be demolished? One Cleveland councilman believes too many of Cleveland's condemned homes are set to meet the wrecking ball. Councilman Jeff Johnson talked with Five on Your Side troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. And Joe, the councilman believes more vacant homes can indeed be saved. Well, that's right, Chris. And Councilman Johnson is concerned an ongoing study may cause too many viable houses to be taken down. It has strong bones. It's a, it's a beautiful house. Cleveland Councilman Jeff Johnson points to this sturdy red brick double, a vacant home that's on the Cuyahoga Land Bank's demolition list. Johnson hopes this house can be saved, but is concerned this study that is to be partly funded by Cleveland City Council may cause too many viable homes to be taken down. The study is designed to show the correlation between home demolitions and neighborhood improvement. Johnson is worried conclusions reached by the study may drive the land bank to unnecessary demolitions. Uh, they have the ability to, to mothball a house or to rehab it, but they they moved away from those strategies and focused on a demolition first strategy. But study co-founder Jim Rokakis says the study is not anti-renovation. Its focus is to simply respond to the more than 12,000 Cleveland homes that cannot be saved. Condemned homes that increase crime, reduce property values, and perpetuate even more foreclosures. This is trying to make a case to the U.S. Treasury Department that now that they're backstopping nine out of ten mortgages, they need to look at tools in the toolkit that will reduce the number of foreclosures in cities like Cleveland and Detroit and Toledo and Dayton and Youngstown and Lorraine. So it's not anti-renovation. And Rokakis forecasts all demolition funds in the region will be exhausted by the end of the year, potentially creating a housing market that will make it even tougher to save houses that can be saved. We didn't come in here trying to determine which properties are historic and which properties need to be saved. Those are local decisions to be arrived at by people like Councilman Johnson. And there are 13 other agencies, including Cleveland City Council, that will fund the demolition study that is set to yield its findings this fall. Both Rokakis and Johnson agree the only sure way to renovate more Cleveland homes is through the private sector, a move that's been done effectively by Cleveland Councilman Brian Cummins, his Community Development Corporation, taking an active role in finding the right buyers who are committed to the neighborhood. We'll keep you updated on the progress in finding all important federal help for our neighborhoods. I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.